So I had this question presented on my live show and I wanted to just clarify a couple things because I think there's a lot of confusion between fasting and ketosis. Okay, so let's first talk about fasting. When you're fasting, you're not eating anything, okay? You're drinking water and you're fasting. If you consume supplements that are not like bone broth or branch amino acids, like protein type stuff, or carbs, especially like any type of shakes and things like that, then you're, you're fasting, okay? So if you're just taking some vitamins and minerals, that's not going to necessarily break your fast. It may not be a true fast, okay? A true fast is just water. I'm pointing this out because I don't want people to do fasting uh, without sea salt and certain nutrients, electrolytes, and B vitamins because I've had people you know, like faint and have side effects and issues. So I wanna make sure they have enough nutrients, especially if they're new to it. But the point is that anything that you eat is gonna break fasting, except drinking water and most supplements. Okay, so does that make sense? So is eating some celery gonna break fasting? Yes. Chocolate gonna break fasting? Yes. Chewing gum gonna break fasting? Yes. So now let's switch over here to I think what people really wanna know, which is not necessarily is it gonna break my fasting, is it gonna break my ketosis? Okay, and by the way, when you're doing fasting, you are definitely in some hardcore ketosis. But people wanna know what food specifically or what drink will stop my ketosis. So let's just cover this right here. What you need to know is that there's something in your small intestine that every time you eat anything, you are going to have a spike in insulin. The more carbohydrate it is, the more it's gonna spike insulin. The more fat, pure fat it is, the less it's going to trigger insulin, okay? But it might trigger it a little bit. So what's gonna bump you out of ketosis? Pretty much any meal is gonna bump you out of ketosis. But there's a huge difference between consuming a refined carbohydrate and sugar and starch meal and a low carbohydrate meal, okay? If you consume a large carbohydrate meal or even like fruit, for example, uh, like an apple that has 19 grams of sugar, that has the potential to increase insulin and knock you out of ketosis for a, a pretty long period of time, like 48 to potentially 72 hours, okay? So if you're eating like bread, pasta, cereal, crackers, candy, even a lot of fruit, that can knock you out of ketosis for two or even three days or longer, okay? If you're doing a vegetable with steak or some fat, that is also gonna lower your ketosis. Why? Because you just ate, but it's not gonna be for very long. So that's what I wanted to communicate. Now, let's say for example, you consume MCT oil, which is a medium chain triglyceride, which actually enhances ketosis. This will not block the ketosis. However, and this is the confusion people have, when you consume pure fat or MCT oil, your ketosis might stay the same or go up but your fat burning, this is another category over here. Fat burning might go down. Why? Because your body is going to be turning the dietary fat into ketones. So your body is going to be running off the dietary calories of fat and not your own fat. So you're not going to see much weight loss, okay? if you're consuming these two, because your body's gonna use this for fuel and not your own body fat. Does that make sense? I hope so. Now, if you take supplements, it's not going to affect ketosis very much. If you're consuming coffee, it's not going to throw you out of ketosis very much. I did a survey on this and I found on most people, it does not throw them out of ketosis. On some people, it might lower it a little bit temporarily. So it's, it's, it's a minor, 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 minor thing. Water is not going to affect ketosis. Sugar water will. But I wanted just to kind of differentiate these few things and just realize that um, if your goal is to lose weight and burn fat, um, then you want to make sure that you're not adding 
a lot of extra fat to the diet. You're not eating very frequently because every time you eat, that will stop your ketosis. And you definitely want to avoid the refined carbohydrates or the cheat days that we call them. Um, and you want to do fasting as much as possible, but a true fast is just with water. But I'm going to recommend you do the supplements as well. All right. I hope that helped. Hey, if you're liking this content, please subscribe now and I will actually keep you updated on future videos.